Okay, this is gonna be a weird one. Canals, they're artificial waterways built by humans to allow the passage of boats. Some canals see massive cargo ships coming through every day. Other canals see oversized cruise ships just narrowly able to pass. But every canal has an important role to play, and no two are alike. So join me for today's video as we take a look at 15 of the biggest canals in the world. Number 15, Corinth Canal. Kicking off this list of killer canals is none other than the Corinth Canal. The Corinth Canal plays an important role in connecting the Gulf of Corinth and the beautiful country of Greece to the Saronic Gulf in the Aegean Sea. The canal runs through the waters of the incredibly narrow Isthmus of Corinth and divides the Peloponnese from the Greek mainland. There are a lot of moving parts here, all equally important to keep things flowing smoothly. This canal is just under 4 miles long and 26 feet deep, which makes it the deepest canal in the world. The canal has been known to be the famous route that seafarers can rely on to keep a safe distance from the rough waters of the Peloponnesian Cape, meaning it's always smooth sailing here. But the one thing that's pretty tough to miss about this canal is the width. It's pretty damn skinny, and so if the captain and navigators aren't on their A-game at all times, it could prove to be disastrous. And because it's such a skinny passage, the Corinth Canal can't accommodate most modern ships, so its economic importance is kind of lacking. But in a year, this narrow canal sees up to 15,000 ships from 50 different countries. Number 14. The White Sea Baltic Sea Canal Moving on to a body of water with a little more berth to it is the surprisingly beautiful and serene White Sea Baltic Sea Canal. It may be a bit of a mouthful, but the name really does explain it all. It's also known as the White Sea Canal for short. This body of water is one of the most important of its kind in the region and helps to regularize the traffic internally, along with cold Russian waterways starting all the way up from the White Sea in the north and bringing it back down to the Baltic Sea in the south. This canal really knows how to take a top-down approach. She goes back quite some time, having been built back in 1933, but today the White Sea Baltic Sea Canal runs through various other bodies of water all smaller than herself, from the Arctic Ocean to Lake Onega before it finally spits out into the Baltic Sea. This is another case of having too small a canal, and so many larger merchant ships aren't able to pass through her waters. She's long, though, running on for about 141 miles from end to end, and has helped to ferry about 193 million tons of cargo in and out since she first opened. Number 13. Panama Canal A man, a plan, a canal, Panama. Perhaps giving birth to one of the silliest palindromes and limericks of all time is one of the most well-known canals in the world. The Panama Canal is, without a doubt, one of the most important waterways in all of history, serving as the ultimate maritime gateway in the West. Panama Canal connects the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean all through the Panama Isthmus, which sees an incredibly narrow strip of water that separates the Caribbean Sea from the Pacific. But this is an interesting one. You see, the two seas the Panama Canal keeps separated don't have the same water level, meaning one is higher than the other. So what happens here is the canal implements two lock gates on either side to lift vessels higher or drop them down lower to the appropriate sea level. Think of it as the elevator in the sea. This canal opened to seafarers in the year 1914, providing a much-needed godsend to traveling pretty much everywhere. Before she was lifting and lowering ships, the journey from the United States' west coast to the east coast was nearly 10,000 times longer. The waterway is just 51 miles long and provides a much-needed service to 29 of the major liners, generally from the United States' east coast to the Asia trade route. So far, well over 13,000 vessels and a total of 403 million tons of cargo has passed through these wet hauls. Number 12. Volga Don Canal Okay, time to take a trip down the Volga Don Canal. This canal interlinks the Russian rivers Volga and Don of her namesake, which provides the most important passageway for seafarers all through the Asov Sea, which is a bay in the Black Sea, and releasing them through the Caspian Sea, allowing them to reach more of a major ocean network. She's Russia's biggest shortcut, and if you thought some of the other canals were old, then just wait till you hear about this one. 
The original construction work on the Volga Don Canal began back in the 16th century, with the route being recognized for the fact that it provides a more efficient passage for the Eastern European shipping networks to link up with their Western cousins. But the canal didn't open for another 400 years. In 1952, the Volga Don Canal was unveiled at 63 miles long and passes through the Korpova, Bereslavka, and Varvarovac reservoirs. But like some others on this list, this Russian canal contains a total of nine separate locks along the Volga slope to raise ships up to the adequate water level, and another four locks down at the Don slope to gently lower them into the shallower waters. Number 11. Kiel Canal Another important and popular canal in aiding the transportation of goods through Eastern Europe is the Kiel Canal. This canal connects the Baltic Sea to the North Sea and gives ships safe passage through the German province of Schleswig-Holstein. She's an old one too, having officially been opened in the year 1895. This canal is about 61 miles long and lets captains cut right through the longer routes that would normally take you through the Jutland Peninsula in Denmark. You have to remember it works smarter, not harder. Plus, the Danish route has a tendency to be quite treacherous and can even tack on an extra 250 nautical miles worth of travel to boot. It's best to avoid that one and make for the Kiel Canal. This awesome artificial waterway begins its route through the North Sea, taking you east to the canal at Brandsbutel and finishes out the journey in Kiel Holtenau before giving ships up to the Baltic Sea. The idea for something like this canal was concocted in the 18th century, but it took more than a hundred years for the powers that be to even break ground. It took eight years and 9,000 workers to give us what we see here today. Number 10, Houston Ship Canal. If you can't already tell just by the name, the Houston Ship Canal offers a great pass through for shipping vessels throughout a good chunk of the American South. Ships can safely go between Houston, Texas and the Gulf of Mexico through this 50-mile long waterway, which also happens to be one of the most important canals in the entire United States. The Houston Ship Canal opened her waters for business officially in 1914, making Texas home to one of the busiest seaports in the country, and since has undergone multiple enhancements to help keep her up with the times and in tip-top shape. This canal has multiple terminals and berthing locations, meaning she never gets too crowded and sees a ton of inland barge traffic week after week. Because of the dredging work done in the Buffalo Bayou and Galveston Bay, the Houston Ship Canal has been both deepened and broadened to ensure it's fully operational at all times, causing absolutely zero slowdowns and mishaps. Plus, the Houston Canal Bridge Project is currently underway, which will not only provide a cool-looking structure to the route, but also offer onlookers a bird's-eye view as the ship passes by. Number 9. Danube Black Sea Canal One of the most important passageways into the western and European regions of the globe is the Danube Black Sea Canal. If you haven't guessed it already, this canal connects the Danube River to the Black Sea, but also interlinks the Black Sea to the North Sea through her Danube main Rhine channel. There's a lot going on here with plenty of moving parts, but it provides one of the most efficient ways to get to the Volga Don Canal as well and onto Eastern Europe. The Danube Black Sea Canal allows shipping vessels to completely bypass the rough waters and unnecessary headaches of the Danube Delta and instead provides a smooth and steady flow all the way down. This means no cargo going overboard and no late shipments due to bad weather. Consistency and continuity are key here, and the Danube Black Sea Canal certainly aims to please. The main branch of the canal is 40 miles long and was built between the years 1976 and 1984. And as that project was wrapping up, construction began on the northern branch in 1983 and took just four years to complete the 20-mile long section. And while this canal is a major player in the European trade routes, it also played host to countless ships that were ferrying tens of thousands of political prisoners for evacuation. Number 8. Karakum Canal Located in Turkmenistan, the Karakum Canal is one of the largest irrigation and water supply canals in the entire world. Construction of this canal began back in the year 1954, but it wasn't until 1988 that it was officially opened for business. That's a pretty long construction job. The canal runs for about 854 miles and holds about 3 cubic miles worth of water annually from the Amu Darya River all across the country's Karakum Desert, bringing much-needed drinking water to the masses. 
this desert canal opened up all sorts of agricultural opportunities, with a very big emphasis on cotton monoculture, which was promoted by the former Soviet Union. But the canal is also the biggest supplier of water to Ashgabat, the largest and most extravagant city in Turkmenistan, which is ironically all but a ghost town now. The Karakum Canal was not the first big attempt at bringing water from the Amu Darya River across the desert. In fact, the Soviets had first made the attempt during the 1950s with a project that would involve using up about a quarter of the river's water supply for both drinking and agriculture. Luckily, though, the project was scrapped and all but abandoned after the death of Joseph Stalin, and the current Karakum Canal uses multiple reservoirs to help keep it running and regulated. Number 7. Saima Canal Without a doubt, the Saima Canal runs along one of the most stunning locations in the world. This body of water is a transportation canal that connects Lake Saima with the Gulf of Finland, not far from Vyborg, Russia. Another oldie but a goodie, the Saima Canal was built between 1845 and 1856 and was eventually overhauled and widened about 100 years later. The entire operation involved a system of inland waterways and canals in the 120 interconnected lakes of the South Central and Southeast regions of the Finnish Lakeland, all of which can be reached through the canal. So if you wanted to visit all 120 lakes, then you had better set aside some weekends. The Saimak Canal has a draft of about 14 feet, and it's spread across 506 miles of beautiful, often fairy tale like scenery. There's a total of 8 locks for the larger vessels and 14 bridges over the water, with 12 being made for motor vehicles and 2 for the railroads. The Saimak Canal was inaugurated and originally built in what was once the Grand Duchy of Finland and the Old Russian Empire, and the canal was eventually divided in 1940 after the signing of the Moscow Peace Treaty. Finland was eventually able to obtain two separate 50-year leases, one from the Soviet Union and another from Russia, and luckily for them, they've only seen one rent increase in 100 years. Under the new lease, Finland's able to set the maritime rules and regulations for this canal, and all the employment for the canal falls under their jurisdiction as well. It's possible to take the canal between countries, but just make sure to bring your passport with you, just in case. Number 6. The Bangkok Klongs if you live in or have ever been to Thailand, then chances are you know all about the Bangkok Klongs. Klong simply translates to canal in English, with these Klongs being a major outlet of transportation and trade every day for thousands of locals and tourists. The canals in Bangkok all spawn from the rivers Chao Phraya, Ka Chin, and the Meklong, which many of their tributaries being in the low-lying areas of central Thailand. But these Klongs, or canals, are absolutely stunning. An attempt to navigate the daily hustle and bustle is a feat that only Thai people seem to be capable of. And with so many of them, one can only imagine how difficult it must be to even attempt to count them all. But people did, and in 2019, there are 1,682 klongs accounted for, with a total of over 1,600 miles in length. That's absolutely crazy, and only nine of these canals serve as the primary flow drainage conduits. Many parts of Bangkok will see a crisscrossing of the Klongs, and so the city was given the loving nickname of the Venice of the East. It's just stunning to witness. Many of these canals are either used for transportation or in the floating markets, and they're small too, so don't expect to see anything close to a shipping container attempting to come through here. Number 5. Leeds and Liverpool Canal if the name of this canal hasn't totally given it away already, the Leeds and Liverpool Canal connects the cities of Leeds and Liverpool in northern England. Not to be confused with the English Channel, this English canal covers a nice distance of 127 miles crossing through the Pennines and has a whopping 91 locks on the main line. This makes the Leeds and Liverpool Canal the longest in the country and second only to the Grand Union Canal, which is composed entirely of merged canals. So unlike its cousin, the Leeds and Liverpool Canal has several smaller branches to explore. Its history dates back to the mid-18th century, when the town of Yorkshire was seeing exponential growth and the trading of goods was becoming more and more common. Trade is always good for business, but what's the point if you can't accommodate it all? Yorkshire quite literally needed a way for the money to flow in, and so in 1966 a public meeting was held to promote the building of what is now the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. Number 4. Erie Canal 
You don't need to be scared by the name, but one of the most famous of its kind within the United States, the Erie Canal, goes from east to west all through upstate New York and the eastern United States, and is part of the cross-state route of the New York State Canal System. It was built back in the year 1825 to help create a navigable water route streaming from the Atlantic Ocean to the Great Lakes Basin, which goes on for about 363 miles, but then takes it on home from the Hudson River at Albany to Lake Erie in Buffalo, making it one of the largest canals in the world. The canal does have a very long history, having been initially proposed in the mid-1780s, only to be reproposed about 30 years later and finally funded in 1808. In the end, it took about eight years to build the Erie Canal. Today, it has a grand total of 34 locks, with an overall elevation difference of about 565 feet. The Erie Canal is a major trade route for the eastern part of the United States, and before it was built, the region was left wanting for railways, and so pack animals were the primary method of transporting goods. But we know how slow that can be, and they only carried about 250 pounds of cargo at a time. And aside from trade, the Erie Canal brings water to farms and even a hydroelectric dam and brings in over $6 billion a year. Number 3. Rhine-Main-Danube Canal The Rhine-Main-Danube Canal is your main man when it comes to important European waterways. This canal links three of the region's most important rivers and links the Black Sea to the North Sea via the Atlantic Ocean. Also known as the much easier to remember Europa Canal, it was built back in the year 1938 and has undergone a plethora of construction and extensions. The Europa Canal is a big one, measuring 106 miles in length and can accommodate barges with a 2,400-ton capacity, so needless to say she's getting a lot of foot traffic year after year. But perhaps the most important aspect of the Europa Canal isn't the waterway she's connected, so much as the route itself. Opting for the most scenic route, she allows vessels to pass through some of the most beautiful and peaceful German countrysides that you'll ever see. Life really is but a dream sometimes. Number 2. Suez Canal Anybody who's anybody has heard of the penultimate entry on this list. Officially opened in November of 1869, the Suez Canal is one of the biggest of its kind at 120 miles long. This canal sits at sea level in Egypt and links the Mediterranean Sea with the Gulf of Suez and is one of the most important and heavily used shipping canals in the world. How important is it? Well, in March of 2021, a cargo ship was stuck in the Suez Canal, completely blocking the waterway for six days, and it felt like the world came to a screeching halt. No goods could get in and none could get out, and it's made for one of the biggest shipping headaches this generation has ever seen. The canal separates Asia from the African continent and provides maritime vessels with the shortest possible route between Europe and any country that borders the Indian Ocean and Western Pacific Ocean, which is a lot of places. But aside from that giant mishap of 2021, the Suez Canal is known for being open at all times. That's 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 52 weeks a year. The Suez Canal doesn't take any sick days or holidays and will remain open even in times of war and conflict, no matter who is involved. Number 1. Beijing Hanshou Grand Canal more commonly known around the world as the Grand Canal, the Beijing Hanshou Canal is not only the longest, but also the oldest canal in the world. The Grand Canal connects China's Yellow River to the Yangtze River and passes through a multitude of provinces across the country and interlinking many other rivers along the way. The Grand Canal covers 1,104 miles and even reaches a high summit of 42 meters up when it makes its way through the mountains of Shandong. The Grand Canal is so important to the country as it links the northern regions to the southern, and it's one of China's biggest economic players because of the majority of ships passing through those waters as it links the northern regions to the southern. And I mentioned that the Grand Canal is old, but just how old? Well, it was originally built in the 5th century, so it should come as no surprise that in 2014 the Grand Canal was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.